So how do you feel when you spend hours making good content, then you finally post and you realize your content is getting few views or no views at all? Mm, I've been there honestly and trust me, it doesn't make any sense. I feel so terrible. But what if I tell you that? If you put in more time and interest into making your thumbnail, it might start making a little bit more sense and from there you can start getting views and of course potential subscribers. Mm -hmm. It works. Remember, no matter how good your content is, nobody is going to watch it if your thumbnail is looking clumsy. Hi guys, if you're just seeing this face for the first time, hello! <laughs> Thank you for clicking this video. Hmm. My name is Viva Matthew, also known as Small Maker herself. In today's video, we are going to be talking thumbnails. Ways to make your next thumbnail appear better so that you might like to get more clicks and of course potential subscribers. Be relaxed, be comfortable, I'll make sure this video is value for your time. And if you're a returning subscriber, ah my guy. Thank you. My mama, thank you so much for coming back. You are the real, real VVIP, okay? So let's get into it. So for our thumbnail making, we are going to be working with four steps. The first step is research. The second step is taking pictures that resonate with the kind of thumbnail you might likely want to recreate. The third step is to edit the thumbnail. Then the fourth step is to proof check the thumbnail. So with this said, before we move further into the video, maybe no more no vex for me, no salad big. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to my channel, be cool. Subscribe so that I can see something to chop. And please like this video so that the algorithm is going to boost the video to meet other people that might likely need it. Thank you so much. I'll wait though until you subscribe because we will not go anywhere if you don't subscribe. And subscribe thank you so thank you please just rush to the comment section and say you have subscribed so that i will come and heal you you understand you have to go vip that's who you are so now let's get further into the video the first thing we are starting with is research when you get this content idea you already know it's not new so many people have done it in the past so you would want to research about this content and know what is working in the platform that is to say, you will go on YouTube because of course we are going to be publishing our content on YouTube. So we want to know the kind of thumbnails that are already working out there in the platform. Which type of thumbnail is the audience best resonating with? Which one is getting the most views? Which one is getting the most clicks? You want to go and check what your competitors are using. So with that, you can have an idea of what you can recreate for yourself because basically what we are trying to do is to try to tell a story men looking at our thumbnail do you understand so when <laughs> i promise myself that i will not use the you understand <laughs> no vex we're trying to tell a story so when somebody sees your thumbnail they'll be like mm, they would have an idea of what your content might be about so it's up to them now to click and watch rather than seeing your content i'll be more confused what your content might be about it's two different thing when somebody sees your content and say oh this might be about this and somebody sees your content and say what did they have over here wait a bit more wait a bit more <laughs> so those are two different things so we want to stick to the part where our thumbnail is representing the entire content so i want to make a video that talks about 2024 uh basically i've already made the video but i want to use it as a template so that you can know the techniques that i use so that you can apply this in your next video so i'm going to be taking you back scene is it back scene or backstage oh backstage back scene no i'm going to be taking you with me as i do my research for this thumbnail so let's go so since youtube is going to be the platform that we are publishing in i'm going to do my research in youtube i'm going to type in the topic i want to recreate you can as well do that for your own idea so now i want to focus on the top results because according to the algorithm it's showing that these results are the most performed well if you look closely you would notice something similar going on now you have an idea of the type of thumbnail that is doing very well in the platform now it's just left for you to go back and replicate these designs to make your own ideal thumbnail 
so we have done our research that's a good thing i accord you for that now we already know what our thumbnail is supposed to look like now we are going to use that to our advantage now we can go ahead to take our pictures and you know do our yaddy 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 i would advise that you take pictures as opposed to screenshotting from your videos because when you are taking pictures they are more intentional you know the look that you are trying to achieve you are more focused and you can take as many pictures and many many pictures you have so many options to work with and they are coming out in high quality so i have taken my pictures and i'm just going to review the ones that i like and work with that now we have gone over two critical steps researching our thumbnails and taking intentional pictures people mostly jump these two steps and just you know go right on to edit whatever comes to their mind in as much as doing you works for you that's beautiful but it is wise to research and see what is working in the platform honestly what has been working for 10 15 popular creators should work because if people in the platform keeps progressing in using the same strategy it is wise to follow suit honestly don't try to fix what is not broken you get that so now moving on to editing they are basically countless countless apps that you can use to edit most of them are free honestly it just depends on your level of graphic expertise so what works for me might not work for you when it comes to editing software there's photoshop there is peak monkey there is canva oh my god i love canva there is pixart there is snapseed uh what else again i think Mm-hmm, my fave. Um, there is Adobe Express. I personally toggle between Canva and Adobe Express. Those two works marvelously well for me and I intend to keep it that way. Maybe till I decide to start outsourcing and stuff like that. With that said, let's go and edit. So for editing my thumbnail, I'm going to be using Adobe Express because you know it has a lot of free features. Plus it's suitable for both mobile devices and laptop device. It has a lot of templates to work with so I highly recommend. So I'm going to be clicking on YouTube thumbnail to create a blank sheet. I'll click on add and go over to photos to add the background that I was using on my video just so it makes sense. <laughs> now after it loads up i am going to click on the move freely icon now i will go ahead to stretch and drag so that it fills up the canvas now after getting my desired frame i will go over to looks and click on the blur effects just so i can reduce the opacity of the picture i think i'm quite comfortable using six so i'll just stick with that after i give you my thumbnail that blur effects the next thing to do now is to add my text i'm just going to click on the text icon then i can type anything i want to type just note that whatever you are typing on your thumbnail should be quick and precise so now after that i will move ahead to select font it is important that your font is basic and simple because you know most people are viewing youtube with their mobile phone if it is zoomed out a simple basic font is going to stand out as opposed to any designer or quasi font so when you are selecting a font please stick to simple and bold so now i have gotten the font that i like so this is me just stretching it out to make sure it is bold enough for my thumbnail after that i would go over to colors and select a color that will stand out emphasis on stand out i might still go ahead to add border but i kind of prefer it like this so i'm just going to work with this one so the next thing i'm going to do now is to add my image i'm going to select from one of the images i took i would zoom it out click on edit and click on remove background so that the background is going to be removed for me on some cases it might say user timeout but that is not a problem you, you can go to your google play store and download the background remover and work with that if you don't have all the time because sometimes it might be network so after removing your background from background remover just for you to save it and come back to adobe express and add your photo to your editing stretch out your desired size you can go ahead and add effects if you want at this point you'll find out your thumbnail is already ready <laughs> now you can go ahead and download and it's going to be saved to your gallery so that's how i do my thumbnail bye now with our edits done the next thing to do is to text proof it 
ask yourself mm, which one would i normally click on if it were me is it this one is it that one or if it's hard to ask yourself you can ask your family ask your friends ask your community you are going to get honest reviews imagine 10 people clicking on a particular thumbnail that means that thumbnail might actually do very well in the platform so that is basically the technique i use in making my thumbnail um if you found value in this content do well to like share subscribe and do all those good stuff you understand thank you so much see you in my next video bye